good stuff. Um, well, let's start by talking about a real positive that win against Stockport. What, what in particular, what, what particularly impressed you about about the victory? Um, what, uh, obviously, you know who you're playing against, and I thought we were pretty comfortable really throughout the game. Um, obviously, they had a lot of possession, but I never felt like we were backed against the wall. Maybe we had a few minutes in the second half where they were having a real go for it, but you're going to get that in any game when a team are desperate to win and um, they're throwing everything against you like, and throwing it in the box and you're just having to defend. But I think we dealt with it pretty well. Um, the back lads were unbelievable. Um, we sat in nicely and we obviously got the second goal from the counter like we did. And that sort of killed the game off a little bit. Yeah, we've just spoke to Charlie. How much credit do you deserve because you've either been good in attack or defence but finding that balance has been difficult but you seem to have found that balance on Saturday. Yeah, I, found, I think we found it really really well. Um, it's something that we can take now into into the next games and, and try, keep working on that. Um, but yeah, no, I think I think we're getting there. And it's um, the P word, people don't like using it in football, but potential. It just shows the potential of the players. They're a young group. There will be ups and downs this season, but how much have you all learnt as a, as a group, do you think, this year to take you into next year? Yeah, I, f- I think the lads, um, the younger lads that have played their full campaign probably for maybe the first time or second time they've they've probably learned loads um what it takes and the demand on on um on playing the realization of playing when you're playing against the better teams i think the demand there is we've already got that one now we have to realize when we're playing against the lesser teams that we we have to be the better team and we have to take the game to them and and, and beat them teams as well so i think once once everyone does that <laughs> And you match them up. You've got a recipe for success. And how are you? I think it's thirteen appearances now this season. Are you feeling one hundred percent pleased with your progress since returning to the side? Yeah, no, yeah, I am. Um, obviously, I was out for a long time, and my body's. I get little niggles um, that I have to play through and, and stuff. Where my body's just where I've been out for so long, just catching up with getting used to you know the hard graft. Um, but yeah, no, it's definitely getting there. I know. I just want to see out the season as strong as I can, um, and and get into for preseason next season, and and hopefully get get a full preseason in my in my body, and and I, f- I should be really good to go from there. And um, as well, publicised the majority of the squad are out of contract in the summer. I guess you're more relaxed than because you you've been out of contract injured as well. So can you draw on the experience and touch wood if you just keep playing well, do your thing on the pitch, things will look after themselves. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, obviously, like I'm older now, so managers know what I'm about. Clubs know what I'm about. Um, obviously, I've got history of of how I've played and stuff, and and that. And then, as for me, yeah, like you said, it's just about seeing out the season as strong as I can, play as many games. Then, whether it's here or anywhere else, they all know that I'm that I'm um, fully fit and and ready to go. Yeah, do you consider? Somerset, your home these days? Yeah, no, I've really enjoyed it. I've had three years here and it's, it's been class. Um, fans, I think, have warmed to me. Um, like I get a good vibe off of them anyway, unless they're saying stuff behind my back, which they probably do. <laughs> 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 but um, no, I, I really like it here. It was the first club I, I played my professional debut here. So um, there's a lot of history with me in this club. So yeah, no, definitely. And Darren's shoes were, were big shoes to fill. How impressed have you been with Charlie Lee since he took his yeah, chance he, as interim manager? Yeah, he's done he's done really well. Um he's had obviously little things in his time here that he's had to deal with and he's took it in his stride and um he, he's doing a really good job and, and you can see the potential in him for to to, to become a, a full manager, I think. I think he's definitely got it got it in his locker and, and um it, it's uh it'd be like a little good one to See where his career goes in that in that regard. I think he's definitely got the, definitely got the right attributes to be to be a good manager. And footballers always tell me they prefer playing to the training, but you're going to Halifax on Saturday. You're home to Worldstone on Monday. That's quite challenging. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm it's not necessarily the travelling. It's it's the the games within two three days. Like I, I just don't get it. I, like other than maybe at Christmas, which you think, all right, fair enough. It's the the festival week, but I just don't really get why this league does it. I don't. There, there's a, a few times in where your Saturday Monday isn't there. I think over the season in this league, and I just it's, it's a strange one because your body cause you can't recover. Like you literally can't. It, you can prep all you want, but you're never going to be fully recovered. And I just don't get it. Like I get Saturday, Tuesday. I get 
the Easter weekend, Monday, Friday, but it's, it's a certain amount of days. Like you're used to that. But Saturday to Monday, I just I just don't get why why we do this in this league because it's it's too soon. No, I don't, I don't disagree. Um, four games to go then. I think it's only one defeat in eight. There's a real chance, isn't there, to, to get some momentum into the summer? Yeah, definitely. We want to finish it as strong as we can. Um, we're all playing for our futures, aren't we, at the end of the day. So um, we need to get the best results we can, play the best performances we can, keep putting on. Hopefully the fans come up to have that. I know it's a long way, but whatever fans do come up, we can we put on a show for them and, and, and do as best we can and do them proud. <laughs> Okay, nice to speak to you. Have a good weekend. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Morning, Lawson. How are you? Morning. Yeah, good. Thank you. You? Jolly good. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Not sure about the beard, the old dog. Nah, but, you uh, said that last time. <laughs> well, it's getting worse, isn't it? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I might shave it off for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, well, um, you happy, how did it? you find the, the, the change? I mean, you know, it was a slightly changed approach on Saturday against um, Stockport. Did you find it hard to adapt to the more defensive sort of angle of the game? Uh, well, sorry, when we were four three three. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, no. Uh, we set up. We knew how they were going to play. I think it actually the the centre backs were on the ball a lot for them, and they didn't really have anywhere to go. And they were, obviously they try and pass it, but we 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 sat in our shape pretty nicely, and and it and frustrated them. And they ended up just putting balls into the box. Um, which didn't really do anything for them, um, so no, I think I think it worked well against their their shape. But obviously, going forward wise, when we won the ball back, maybe my fault and the, uh, whoever I just blame me for instance, just keeping that ball a little bit more, so it allowed our strikers to get up the pitch, our wingers, uh, Nolsey and Josh, if that makes sense. Probably didn't do that as well. But then Chaz changed the shape, and and I felt like that gave us a little bit more of an easier um, route in how we passed the ball and we got up the pitch to give them a problem. Do you think you'll be having a bit more practice on it on, uh, on Saturday, bearing in mind it's, you know, it's a pretty tough game up there at Halifax? Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. It's I, I'd imagine, well, I've, I know how Halifax played. The, the manager's been there quite a while now. They, they seem to be playing the same way as they did every time we've played them. So it's going to be a tough game. Um, they're gonna they're gonna want to get their win for for the playoff to secure the playoffs. I think they do. So um, it's 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 gonna be a tough game, but one we're looking forward to. And and presumably Monday's game is going to be just as tough in the in the context as you said that it's it's nigh on impossible to completely recover in just a day. And and, and you've got the travelling as well to put into it. <clears throat> yeah, um, but Willstone have got the same problems. I'm guessing like they they're gonna. I don't know where they're playing or whatever, but they're gonna to have to play the same amount of minutes as we are, and is what it is. Like both teams going at it, um, and it, it will just be hopefully an exciting game. I mentioned to the manager that uh, the, the owners come out and, and made a few statements over the last few days, and uh, apparently the contract talks are starting to take place. Is that leaving you know uh, leaving a sort of a more calm approach to things over the over the week? You know the weeks coming on. Yeah, I, I guess so. Um, for me, really, like I don't really, I'm out of contracts. Like clubs leave it late every year when you're out of contract. You know, it's no different to me. So I know how it works, and it is what it is. Um, it's just the same old, really, for me. Like you're out of contract at the end of the year. You just got to play as many games, minutes as you can, and do as well as you can. And and when that contract offer comes, wherever it comes from, it 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 will be that'll be the case. You know what I mean? And you have a decision to make. So it's nothing new for me, really. No, and presumably you know the the, the target now is, is it four games left. Something you know you want to get four four wins basically over just to finish off on a high. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Just win as many games as we can and and do as well as we can and and uh, end it on a high, like you said, and and take that. Now is a good time to be in good form and try and take that into into the following season. Obviously, it's, it seems to be fairly well documented that, that you know you had a complete sort of week. When I say week off, I don't mean that in a. A, a, a trivial sense, yeah. but I mean, obviously you, you weren't feeling that special. So uh, it must have been quite hard. Have you sort of got over that now? You, you sort of um, as far as the, the next game is uh, I lost your aid, I think. We can't completely. Oh, sorry, have you? Wait one second. Um, I, oh, you're back. I, I said you, it's, it's, been well, it's been well documented that, uh, you know, you were you were pretty rough 
for the week leading up to the Stockport game. You, you, you're back okay now. You're, you're fully fully fit and firing on all four now, are you? Yeah, yeah, back okay now. I don't. I wasn't. Um, wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't very well last week. To come up with a sickness bug, I think. Um, and actually, I wasn't very well Saturday when I played as well. I wasn't fully. Um, I don't want to say what happened, but yeah, no, you know, yeah. leave it to the imagination. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the imagination is working yeah. well. Don't worry. <laughs> but, uh, but of course, now you've got. You say you don't worry about their long trips, but yeah, I know I've been on them, and they're pretty boring at times, aren't they? When you've got to go all the way up to Halifax, it's a long way to go, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is. It's especially on on Friday. It's it's Bank Holiday weekend. I'm sure it's going to be yeah. hell going up there. So yeah. it's probably going to be a good seven eight hour journey for us. Yeah, well, I hope the roads are clear for you, I know, because there's nothing worse than getting stuck on the motorway, yeah. that's for sure.